how to renew your mutilated passport. watching this video my name is G and in this YouTube channel we talk about destinations the Philippines travel tips first time flying a lot more to help you have that comfortable trip and be a confident traveler but in this video we're gonna talk about my mutilated passport a few years ago I actually had this passport and uh, so not so not all pages were eaten by rats just few spots here and there, not all pages even, not even my bio page. And I mean by bio page is where your information is. So I thought as long as your bio page is intact, it will be fine, didn't get wet. It's just that some few pages got some rot bites on it. Just to be safe, I asked DFA, I PM or messaged them on Facebook, Twitter, and even emailed them to ask if I am safe, if I can still use my passport. Apparently it's not. Well, they told me that even a small tear on your passport or one page is already considered mutilated. But they told me I should renew this one because this is already considered mutilated and not valid anymore. So I did. This is my old passport, my mutilated passport, and this is the new one. Not much of a change in the outside, but check out what's in the inside. The difference. The pages, guys, it's... It's, it's beautiful. Plus, this passport is 10 years valid. And you might be wondering what's the green passport that I was holding. This was my old passport. This is my very first part. This was my very first passport. Look at me. I'm so ugly. Duckling. So, let's then start talking about how to renew your mutilated passport this 2019 or let's just say in 2020 because in three years not much of the process in renewing your passport have changed just that right now it has become easier and your passport is prettier but before anything else guys please don't forget to subscribe to this channel give my video a thumbs up or like this video or share this video please if you want to i'm not you know trying to force you but please i need it but since filipinos are most likely the ones who will be renewing their passport because they're filipinos so i'll be talking so i'll be talking in our national language which is filipino or tagalog because i get a lot of complaints why i'm not speaking tagalog if you're an english subscriber you want to know you know i'm gonna help someone out in renewing their passport please let me know um or you might also want to check out my blog post on my blog where I will be also sharing the this same topic but written in a written version. It's like, you know, becomes your notes. So, but for those Tagalog people, please, uh, pagpasensya nyo na na mag English ako minsan kasi bisaya po ako, hindi po ako fluent mag Tagalog and I have a bad Tagalog. <laughs> so, uh, pagpasensya nyo na po. So, maybe you ask, kailan ako pwedeng mag-renew ng passport ko? There are primarily three reasons that you need to renew your passport. Uh, you can renew your passport pag wala ng page na pwedeng matatahan. For example, hindi naman to pag super traveler kayo, maubos nyo itong lahat na page na to. So, pag wala ng page na, mata, na pwedeng matatahan ng immigration ng bansa na bibisitahin ninyo, then better na mag-renew na kayo. Second is expired na yung passport niyo or mag expire na in 6 months yung passport niyo. For example, this one is uh, will expire in 2021 July. So, 6 months before January of 2021, if hindi to na mutilated o hindi na hagat ng... Oops, sorry. <laughs> hindi na hagat na yung daga. Eh, Dapat by January of 2021, maririn ko na to. Kasi dapat 6 months before, um, ma-expire to maririn ko na. Kasi yung immigration natin o yung immigration ng bansa na pupuntahan ko might not accept me anymore kasi hindi 6 months valid. And that's usually required sa mga immigration nila or even sa visa. And of course, third is just like my reason, nakagat ng daga, nabasa yung passport niyo or kagaya ng mga na headline na pinunit ng aso nila. So, what's the consideration of mutilated passport? Kahit kunti 
kaming kahit konting punit lang, like regresahan na konting na punit lang sa mga pages, kahit kompleto pa yung, kompleto, kahit kompleto pa yung pages, yung, especially yung bio page ko, maganda pa naman, tsaka maganda pa naman yung passport ko, tingnan nyo, yan, maganda pa, eto, sila nang gumawa ng holes, that means delete, hindi delete, delete na valid, <laughs> that means hindi na valid yung passport kasi dapat presentable yung passport mo, so kahit konting punit, basa hindi na pwede, so dapat so considered na siya as mutilated so dapat renew mo na yung passport mo, so ano ang mga requirements para i-review yung passport mo, one is an online appointment, if you don't know how to make an online appointment, previous video natin is about uh, making an online appointment at DFA so you might want to check that, that one out, I'll put it right there or down below the comment section and also sa description ng video na to, makikita niya yung links, uh, please always check check lahat ng links na i mention ko it's either nasa description ng video or nasa comment section kasi yung iba nag BPM talaga sa akin kung saan yung link yung anong website na ginamit mo chu 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 so basically it's all there in my videos actually just go to the description or the comment section and don nilalagay ko parate yung mga links na ni mention ko sa videos once you have done that one in the video matatanggap mo yung email from DFA automatically generated yon, so makakakatanggap ka ng email saying that this is your reference number it will basically look like this with your reference number take note of your reference number then pumunta ka sa payment centers nila tapos bayaran mo yung due amount using that reference number take note po na you have 24 hours to pay and as long as hindi ka nagpa hindi ka nagbayad hindi pa confirm yung appointment mo pero saan ka pwede magbayad pwede ka pumunta sa 7-Eleven Western Union yun at uh, saka LBC at marami pa actually meron pang Robinsons actually marami pang iba but I will put that one on my blog post I will also put the link of the blog post kung saan ka pwede magbayad so please check also my blog post on my blog exotic philippines that info again uh, EP exotic philippines at uh, ayan <laughs> So this is the regular price of the regular processing passport and this is the rush passport. So other than that amount, may patong pa na 50 pesos na convenience fee. Kasi itong mga amount na to is for the passport. Bayad mo lang sa passport. Plus, may charge din yung uh, payment center. Like sa akin, nagbayad ako sa Western Union. Nag, uh, Nagsingilos ka sa akin ng 5 pesos. So, overall, I paid 1,255 pesos. After nakapagbayad ka na enter ng Western Union, for example, yung payment mo sa system nila, you will right away receive a text message on your phone na your payment has been confirmed. And also, your email will receive a confirmation of your appointment. So make sure na yung email na nilagay mo sa pag-create ng online appointment mo works and sa'yo yun. Kasi along with the confirmation, may ma-receive ka rin na file kung saan nakalagay yung information mo at saka andoon din ang mga receive mo. Ito yung first page ng confirmation na email nila. Na print ko. Actually, ah, Actually, isa na lang na naiwan. But meron itong dalawang resibo, a DFA copy, tsaka uh, yung copy mo. Tapos yung page din ng uh, application form. Hindi ka na kailangan mag-fill up ng form na to. Although I did print it. <laughs> Naninigurado lang. Pero hindi na pala kailangan to. Ando na nakalagay sa ipiprint mo na na na-email na yung DFA sa'yo pagkatapos ng bayad mo. So, you don't need to fill this one out na kasi andun na sa email nila. They already filled that form for you. All you have to do is just bring it with you na. So, doing your online appointment only achieve two requirements which is your online appointment and then your application form. Next is of course yung passport mo na iririnyo mo. Tapos yung PSA birth certificate mo and yung photocopy niya. Hindi na siya NSO birth certificate kasi PSA na siya ngayon. Kung saan ka makukuha ng PSA birth certificate ay may suki na ako na website. Doon ako parate na nagkukuha ever since college. Doon ako nagkukuha sa website na yun. At saka napakadali na pag inulit-ulit mo na kasi alam na nila yung record mo. So, dun, dito ako na website na kukuha. I'll put the link down below. 
again, and dun lang po sa baba ng video. To take note po, hindi po nila ako sponsored, hindi po ako nila minabayaran para gawin to. Dun lang talaga ako kumuha. Kumukuha sa kanila ever since college ako. So that's like more than 10 years ago. Need mo rin i-photocopy yung uh, bio page ng passport na i-delinyo mo. Na-photocopy ko na siya. Tapos, uh, make sure clear copy siya. And you'll also need a valid ID. In my case, dinala ko tong uh, postal ID ko. Uh, by the way, this is the new postal ID, guys. This is my old one. Binag uh, na-expired na pala kasi siya. Kaya natagalan ako nag-renew. <laughs> Dapat, ayan. Bago na. Itong dinala ko. Tapos, uh, pinapotocopy ko na rin. Kasi sa pagkakaalam ko last time, tapat photocopy na din yung ano mo. Yung uh, ID mo. So, ano yung mga considered valid ID sa hand postal ID? You may also use your school ID, yung SSID mo, LTO or driver's license ID, OWA, voter, senior. Uh, you can use those IDs. I'll also put on the blog post sa blog ko, exoticphilippines.info kung ano yung mga valid IDs na consider nila. And lastly, you'll need an affidavit of mutilation. Ito ba? Si Attorney Yvonne Marie. Hindi ko siya na-meet personally pero yung staff na niya nag-process ng pagperma sa kanya. Ayan ba? Signed by Attorney Yvonne Marie. May seal din siya. It's notarized, guys. So, I paid 350 I paid 300 for this affidavit. I got two copies. That's why I have this. The other one is already with DFA. So, alam na ng lawyers o yung staff nila na paano gawin to. They will just ask you some questions na bakit na napunit, na kagat na daga, <laughs> o nakagat ng aso, whatever. O kailan mo na. So, what you will need to know is, uh, one is kailan mo siya na-discover or kailan siya napunit. Second is, ano, uh, what time, may time then, hindi lang date, may time then, bakit o ano nangyari sa passport mo. Uh, yeah, basically, that, yan ang dapat alam mo. Yeah. Uh, bring your mutilated passport sa lawyer mo para makita nila kung, you know, they will be like your witness kasi na mutilated talaga yung passport mo. It's not necessary na you will hire a lawyer. So basically, just go to the law firm, any law firm. Usually, you'll find them at the city hall or near the justice hall. Marami sila. Actually, dito, dito kasi sa Lapalap, yung city hall at saka justice hall, malapit lang as in walking distance lang talaga. So yung city hall area, maraming mga lawyers. Yung kababata ko, actually, is a lawyer. So I asked her if what to do with this. So she, and how much it is. So she told me na mga 300 to 500 usually yung uh, notarized na mutil, uh, affidavit of mutilation. So it depends upon the lawyer siguro kung anong charge or mga charge nila. So sa is 350. All you have to do is enter and then just tell the staff na you will need an affidavit of mutilation para sa passport. And they'll know what to do. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, like this video if you like and hopefully you'll also share Share this video especially if you appreciate the content or the you know this video that uh, topic I'm talking about here you might ask so the FA na mismo anong gagawin so how to renew the passport na yung process na mismo sa pagpunta mo na sa DFA. Ito, narinyo po siya noong 2016 July and this is the new one basing on the three years difference ma same lang, ma wala masyadong changes pero faster na ngayon at saka easier na ngayon. Kasi ito, hindi ko na experience yung scheduling online. Kasi I was with my mom and they gave me, they included me to have a priority. Kasi kailangan ng assistance yung mom ko so they included me na lang together with her. So that's why I didn't expert. I didn't I did not experience the scheduling kind of thing so this one I have since I'm renewing it all alone wala yung mom ko kasi okay pa naman yung passport niya so I experienced the scheduling so super easy na kasi dalawa ng offices or it's actually isa lang yung office dito sa Cebu yung Mandawi lang pero may yung uh, truck or on wheels yung, yung passport on wheels how uh, andito na sa Cebu sa mga taga Cebu makita ninyo sila sa seaside o oh, oh, kabalo akong aso gid sa seaside so i've seen pictures na nasa sa Samog uh, agianan 
it. I, I don't know. Maybe sa front sa seaside or somewhere. So, pangpangutan na na lang mo sa wardya kung asa dapit sa seaside. So, not much have had changed and I did not record a video while renewing it because they've been strict that time. I guess they found my video when I was recording like three years ago. <laughs> so, they've been really strict right now. Even lang yung nagbabasa lang ng text. Sinasabihan na ng guard, sir, bawal yung phone. So, I think it's my fault. <laughs> Sorry, peace out, Tiffa. If you're like me, who are more like visual, who can learn and understand easier, yung mga proseso, yung ginagawa of paano gawin in video, watch that video para makatulusan yung mga mah so you can visualize or mafeel nyo kung paano, mafamiliarize at least nyo kung paano maginyo sa or ano ang proseso sa mismo DFA office. But in summary, be there at the DFA office 30 minutes before your scheduled time. Yung so so tin mo, pwede to, pwede tong t-shirt, pero I suggest yung may decent na mag kagalang kagalang. Kasi yung picture, picture lang ka sa DFA at yun ang ilalagay sa passport mo. So maybe sabihin nyo, so pwede na mag uh, pull those apps, then shorts sa baba. Hindi po uh, dapat presentable din po kayo kasi na, nasa loob po kayo ng government building so medyo kagalang-galang naman kahit konti lang oh, casual man lang yung suot nyo so no sleeveless no shorts no sleepers so dapat close at least close shoes so, I think I've seen someone who was wearing sandals but you know they're women sandals like yung para sa mga babae so I think that's just fine but just to be safe, I wear uh, closed shoes. As for me, I wore a blouse. Walang kwalyo, pero blousey ya. Then I wore my pants, uh, yung jeans. Tapos yung uh, slip on na rubber shoes ko. Basically, when I arrived there 30 minutes before my scheduled time, uh, pinaupo nila ako, but uh, linya, um, first come, first serve. Pero yung ina-arrange nila kayo by time. So, yung time ko na pinili is 11, but I was already there at about 10 or 10.30. So, while I was sitting there, they gave me this lip. I read this one. Dito nakalagay kong, um, ano, ilang days yung processing ng passport mo, at saka yung disclaimer nila. So, yun lang, basta i-keep mo lang to. And then, they called for a time before 11. 11 was my schedule. They called for us, like, maybe 10 for 5 already and then when I entered na sa office uh, someone checked my documents we lined up to, to be checked so uh, documents namin yung mga requirements the next is processing you also need to wait for your turn uh, someone will interview you ask you question no, it's not very hard wag kayo matakot kasi yung tinatanong lang nila is ano nangyari sa passport mo sa akin is valid pa to yung passport mo bakit mo re-renew kasi 2 years pa so, sabi ko mutilated na po, tinignan niya. Tapos, sabi na sa akin, nagamit mo na ba to? Sabi ko, yes sir, may China visa na dyan. Basically, yun lang. Tapos, he just uh, make sure na correct yung information na nasa application form ko, at saka yung birth certificate ko, at saka yung andun sa itong passport na i-renew ko na match yung information at saka yung mukha ko. Tapos yun, uh, binigay niya sa akin balik yung documents then go to the next step. Now, uh, the next step is payment. Kung hindi kayo mutilated passport kagaya sa amin, you may skip this step. Papunta na kayo ng capture. Pero sa akin, o oh, so yung mga mutilated passport, kailangan kayong magbayad ng penalty of mutilated passport. So, if you're like me, na mutilated yung passport mo, kailangan mong mag uh, pumunta sa cashier para bayaran yung penalty na 350. Again, if hindi naman kayo mutilated passport, skip this step. Punta agad kayo sa capture area. Pagkatapos mong bayaran yung penalty, if mutilated yung passport mo, punta ka na sa capture area. Sa capture area naman, dun ka, si picture lang nila, pero before that, they'll type in your information sa database ng DFA, tapos they will ask you questions, tapos before nila i-finalize yung information mo, ipapabasa nila sa inyo yung nilagay nila to make sure na walang uh, misspellings, so, make sure na basahin nyo na maigi, check uh, yung information, birthday, kasi kailangan talaga na match yung information ninyo, at saka insakto yung spelling, si yun ang malalagay sa passport niyo So, double check. Tapos, yun lang. Tapos, pagkatapos mo picture yan, tapos sabihin nila na, okay na ma'am, uh, wait for na lang your passport. Okay ka na, tapos ka na mag ng passport mo, just wait for the days na pwede mo na maklaim. So, kailan maklaim yung passport mo is usually pag sa capture area andun na yung date na 
na nakalagay kung kailan mahuhuha yung nasa rush at saka yung regular passport. So, sa akin, 10 days, uh, 10 working days yung rush na passport. Tapos, yung regular passport naman is 15 working days. So, hindi kasali, again, working days, hindi kasali yung Sabado at saka Linggo. So, Monday to Friday ang counted. That's pretty much it. That's how you, you renew your mutilated passport or your expired passport this 2019 or 2020. That nothing much will change kasi okay na yung system nila at napaka-easy lang. You have no reason na mag-hire ka pa ng someone to do it for you. Please take note guys if you'll hire someone pa na like a travel agency or someone to represent you to process your passport. That's most likely a fixer and remember yung nabalita na pageant natin na kandidato fake pala yung passport niya kasi nag fixer siya. So careful, you don't have any reason to do the fixer already. It's super easy, one hour lang kailangan andun ka sa DFA. Kailangan andun ka, pupunta ka sa DFA para picturean. So if they'll ask for your picture or pipicturean ka lang namin dito sa bahay mo, most likely fake po yan. So, Avoid the fixer, do it yourself. It's more easier, it's cheaper, it's also legit. Kaya ginawa ko itong mga video na ito, naturuan kayo paano gawin to para avoid tayo na ma-fake at saka mas confident kayo maging traveler or have a comfortable trip. But anyway, please don't forget to follow me on social media right here, right here, right here because I think this will be my last video this year, this 2019 because I've been really sorry guys if the consistent videos, videos ko because I've been really busy with work lately. So oh, anyway, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for joining me in this year, this 2019. Thank you guys for sticking with me, especially to those who have been with me from the very start. Thank you so much. See you guys next year in 2020 in a few weeks actually. <laughs> so, um, see you guys and thank you for being with me and this channel joining me in my journey. I hope you'll stick with me longer until magsawa na kayo sa akin. Anyway, good luck. Thank you for guys for watching. I hope this video was very helpful. If you have any questions for me about uh, renewing your DFA passport or Philippines passport, please comment down below. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. And this is G. See you guys next year on the next video in this channel. Bye!